what's up people um just everyone is having an awesome week um i'm having a great two months june and july is my time of spending in the marikele national park doing other th things amongst other things of game drives walks sleep outs it's been bloody cold but let me tell you minus seven degrees on a sleep out is pretty flippin hairy but and sadly at this time of the year it doesn't afford me much time to do any hunting um, although I am still do have opportunity to check the farm and check my trail cameras and my feeders and all that and it's going well I seem to have bush pigs hitting the feeders I've had a couple of uh, caracal or roy cut on cameras leopard on cameras hey and guess what i've got some new bush pigs so pretty good stuff to be excited about um i guess i'm only going to get back to the hunting probably in early august because i have groups from the usa for the next couple of weeks so i'm in the man cave today and uh, i thought i'd just uh, share with you some of the equipment that i use and what i use to make me more efficient so we start off with sights with me personally I like a uh, five pin sight um, for me this works best I find in Africa it's nice to have the the one pin sight with the sort of adjustable distances but I tend to find that uh, our African game tends to move incredibly quickly um, and uh, it's easier to bracket when I say brackets, it's uh, finding your distances between the pins. And uh, if you use if you use these five pinners enough, then you should be able to bracket quite easily and, and be able to work out exactly where you need to aim using your pins. So my pins, um, I I have two sights, um, same bow, and the reason I have that is that. Uh, the, the main reason is is that uh, I've been advancing into the heavy arrows or adult arrows or whatever you want to call that and uh, Through that, you know your arrows land in different spaces Now I found that heavy arrows are not very efficient for walk and stalk Because you're looking for something that's got a very sort of flat trajectory and you want an arrow that's pretty fast You know whereas when I'm hide bound or in an elevated tree stand I want to use the heavy arrows. I want to get that like serious punch through. And obviously, a heavy arrow has got more of a trajectory as opposed to fast and and straight flying. So with the with the heavy arrows, um, I am using a 700 grain arrow as my latest build, and uh, that 700 grain arrow is um, tipped with a this thing is not going to focus um, I've tipped them with a silver frame silver flame and uh, this is the extra wide the extra wide guy and uh, it works quite efficiently for me so that's a 700 grain arrow it's got four uh, four fletchings let me just see if I can get this thing to focus um, over here it's got the four fletchings on it and uh, it certainly works for me. That's uh, pretty cool. It doesn't want to focus there, but anyway, that's the way it is. There we go. There we get it to focus a bit. So that's pretty cool. And uh, for the lighter arrows for walk and stalk, I use the gold tips. Now you must remember my light arrows are 500 grains. So yeah, it doesn't sound like much of a difference. Um, I've also found that the arrows that I use for um, walk and stalk, I am also utilizing in, for my indoor arrows. I find that my indoor arrows shoot exactly the same. Now the indoor arrows, I'm using a very skinny diameter you know just with obviously with no field points and just the normal three fletchings I like the pin knocks as well and I find uh, those are ideally set up for me so on my bow I, I use exactly the the same the same sight 
Uh, I, I hasten to mention that I'm not sponsored by anyone, so uh, this is all entirely of my own choosing, and this is something that works for me. It might not necessarily work for you, but it works for me. Like I say, I like the five pins. For me, uh, I don't need anything more and I'm able to bracket quite easily. So my site of preference is the Hoggett. Um, it's a five pin site. It's, uh, it works well for me. I've added a bit of uh, green tape around the outside here, which uh, one can get pretty much anywhere. Um, any signage store has it. Um, I know that Hoggett itself or Spot Hog itself make these sort of bright yellow visors and uh, I find that those don't really work for me. I like this sort of thinner profile. I also find that my peep is big enough that when my peep is, is centered around the circle that uh, just the outside of the green is visible. That, in that Through that way I'm sort of able to find out if uh, um, my, my, my rings are nicely lined up and my pins are pretty accurate. I'm happy with what I've got set up. Um, the, currently this is set up for my light arrows. Um, so you'll see, um, I don't know, it's quite difficult to see the spacing and I don't think it's something that I'm going to get right on the camera. But maybe what I'll do is I'll edit a couple of pictures in for you to see. So just to show you, this is my, my one site. This is for my light arrows, what I use for walking stalk. So here I have 20, 30, 40, 50 and 60 yards. My bottom site is for my heavy arrows. I have 20, 30, 35, 40 and 45 yards. I don't like to shoot further than 45 yards with my heavy arrows. Reason being is the slow trajectory and normally the slow, slower speed. My heavy arrows are flying at 240 feet per second. Whereas on the top side here, my arrows are flying at about 300 feet per second. It's more than adequate for me. I'm happy with this. And as I say, I prefer the heavy arrows. So that's that. And the reason that I use the hoggets, sorry to go back to that, is that I can simply just undo this dovetail and I can slide the, the side out. And um, then what I can do is just take the other side that I have and I can slide it in. And uh, then we're all set up and we're good to go and it is literally that quick so it doesn't matter where I'm going to hunt um, I can be going to a place where I'm going to be sitting in a hide and sometimes in South Africa you tend to find that uh, a lot of the chaps put gun hunters in the hides and you tend to find that the the game has become accustomed to this and um, they actually don't like to come to the hides in the day so they've changed their patterning and they're either coming sort of around dawn and dusk when it's very difficult to see with a bow or they're coming through the course of the night and uh, when that happens then you've got to resort to walk and stalk so for me it's much easier for me to carry two sets of arrows you know I can carry two sets of six arrows uh, 700 grain models and then of course the standard 500 grain models which I would use for walk and stalk obviously you know I'm quite of a quite a big fella I'm six foot seven so for me walk and stalk is a challenging task um, it's not that I don't enjoy it I just find that it's incredibly difficult and also you know at this time of the year in the very dry winter months there's a lot of leaf litter on the ground and trust me when you've got a size 13 foo when you've got a size 13 shoe walking in the bush is not really an option so that's my bow setup um, I, I like a, quite a short stabilizer with a fair amount of weight on the top here um, the reason for that is, uh, you know, obviously it's just more convenient to walk through the bush. I also like a, a, a height, a, a bow that's got a, a much larger axle to axle rate. I find what that does is it gets the peep much closer to your eye. You know, when you've got a when you've got a bow that's got a very short or very short limbs from top to bottom, you tend to find that that peep sight is going to be a lot further away from your eye than if you've got a longer bow sight and it works for me like i say this i'm telling you what all works for me i like a wrist release um, as opposed to a thumb release i just find that it's easier for me to operate that uh, i'm also quite selective about the the release that i use i like one that's got a little pin 
on the release rather than the clips. I find that those clips, when you're in a situation where you've got to be quiet, you've got to clip them on and that clip can actually make a noise. Whereas the release that I've got, you just push a button and you just, you're able to just hook the, 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 the release onto the loop, onto your D loop. And like I say, that works for me. <clears throat> What I normally shoot my bow at, um, if I'm sh uh, shooting game, then I normally turn my bow up to 70 pounds, which is the maximum. Okay, obviously I've got a hell of a long draw length. I mean, I've got a 32 and a half inch draw length. So I've got no issue with kinetic energy. Um, I like the heavy arrows because personally, I would rather blow two holes through an animal than sort of have partial or semi penetration. I think in my previous videos I've sort of advocated that I'm not really too keen on mechanicals. I know they are mechanicals, I know mechanicals have their place, but they don't work for me. And uh, you know, and through that I would recommend to anyone to go the fixed broadhead route. You know, if you're wanting to go cheap fixed broadheads, G5 Monte. <laughs> There's no beating them. Those animals, I mean those broadheads they kill a whack of animals in a year you know if you're more into the into the two bladers the grizzly sticks oz cuts are coming out with some fantastic stuff iron wool man i'm dying to get my hands on this stuff but you know we we battle in this country i see that there's a couple of places now that are bringing the vp a series in and i'm looking forward to getting my hands on some of those but again you know it's hard enough getting them in this country, but when uh, you live in Tabazimbi, let me tell you, uh, although we do have a very good supply here in the form of Tabazimbi Bow Shop, uh, Tabazimbi Boog and Hengel, they're actually very good uh, to the local market here. They service quite a few of the international people that come to Tava that have big problems with their bows. And uh, yeah, man, all I can tell you is that bow hunting is a fantastic sport. I take part in both. I, I take part in, in, in rifle hunting, I take part in bow shooting, I'm very very tempted to get into the traditional stuff but um, I haven't quite figured out if that's what if that's the route I want to go. Um, you know for me I, I'm very competitive, I like to shoot competitively and uh, I, I do take part, I'm actively involved with the Tabazimbi Bow Club here. And I tell you, it's nice to get in amongst those guys there with those fancy competition bows and to give them a good rev with a bow, with a hunting bow, you know, just with a simple setup. It's nice. I mean, you don't always need to be first, you know, but it's nice to be the underdog, to be second or third. And, you know, you're thrashing a couple of guys that have got top level sights and bows and stabilizers and side stabs and all those good things. Man, it's lucky to get in there and give them a bit of gas. But anyway, um, I think it's time to cut this this to a close. That's my setup. Um, I'm not advocating any equipment. I started out with a bow, um, brand new out of the box. It didn't work for me. I tried it for two years. I had, went through numerous strings. I went through numerous dropaways, rests, everything. It takes time, people. Be patient it will come it will come and uh, you know what's great about this sport um, it's a lot like fishing you know the equipment or the tackle is always changing so keep going keep at it keep developing get better if you're into hunting videos i'm going to try and bring you some more hopefully in august i'm going to have a little bit more time to spend on uh, on, on on hunting You'll see in the background here, got my big pigs. Exciting to see those guys. <laughs> anyway, stay tuned, people. Hit the like button or the little bell for notifications down below. I'm going to try and bring you a video once a month. I'm, I'm trying not to, to send you rubbish. I'm trying to give you content that you can use. Content that works for me as a bow hunter. You know, I'm not here to get any gains or market anyone's product. I'm just telling you what works for me. So, um, please folks, like and subscribe to my channel. And thanks for watching. Cheers.